Hey guys, it's Ellie from Teens vs Cancer here today and I'm joined with my twin, Olivia. Hi. And in today's video, we're going to be talking to you guys about how to cope when your sibling is diagnosed with cancer, which I think is a very important topic to talk about because um, I find that in some respects it can be harder for the sibling watching their sibling go through cancer because, um, you know, they feel quite helpful, helpless and um, they have no control over the situation and I think you found that happened to you a lot. Like, how did it impact you? Yeah, like, I was just at a loss almost because I only got to see you in the afternoons for a short period of time because I had school and then I had no idea what was happening and I would be like the person that everyone went to at school so everyone would just be like oh how's Ellie about 50 times a day. <laughs> that must be hard because even though people are giving you attention at school it was always about me rather than oh hey are you okay? Yeah and I'd get so many like weird questions like um they'd ask really personal ones like oh yeah um what kind of cancer is it or oh so is she gonna make it stuff like that and it's just not sensible yeah and that's like really hard going through as a sibling because you don't ever expect that you'll have to actually do that and how did you find like the family dynamic and uh i thought that? it was quite like separate because it was you and mum in the hospital and there was me dad and the brothers at home so it was a lot lonelier at home and then we would go and travel to see you like every other day or near enough every day to Nottingham to go see you but then that really really impacted my schoolwork and I think it just impacted everyone as a whole and it impacted you in so many ways so you say it impacted your schoolwork family dynamic and also your mental health yeah and I think you know a lot of other siblings do experience that as well and I know my other siblings they found it really hard um, and it's just like a battle even though like being the teenager of cancer we're going through a battle but equally our siblings are kind of going through a battle with their emotions and like having yeah. to process it all but anyways we're gonna be talking to you guys about and like giving you some tips on how to cope and these pieces of advice are all by my twin so thanks Liv and I'm I just really hope that they help you so we'll get into that right now. So my first piece of advice would be to not let your ambitions go because of how you're feeling like obviously because you're going to be depressed and you're going to be very anxious and a lot's going to be on your mind but you need to keep your ambitions as much as you can because like I'm really into art myself and when Ellie was diagnosed, I stopped doing it. And I've gotten in, back into it recently, but I just wished I had those few extra years to practice on it a bit more. I think I found that hard as well, seeing you like not doing your art, because pretty much, you know, before diagnosis, Liv was doing art all the time, whatever time that she could, she would do art. So just to see her drop it all was actually like quite astonishing to us all. And it just showed how the emotions that you're feeling impacted your daily life so yeah basically just continue your hobbies don't think that you have to drop everything yeah because you feel quite numb and you have zero motivation and i understand that and i understand it's going to be extremely hard to do it but you just need to keep doing your ambitions like reading painting drawing musicians stuff sports and it's just like a good coping mechanism as well i feel yeah, I think that's good because otherwise, if you don't do your, your hobbies or ambitions, then your whole life is circled around your ill sibling. Yeah. Whereas you need something that, you know, makes you feel good and it's something towards yeah, exactly. yourself. So my next piece of advice would be to hang out with your friends and go to school as much as you can. Like, even though school is going to be very difficult, as soon as Ellie was diagnosed, I went in the next day to go see her, then the, the day immediately after I went to school because it's an extremely good coping mechanism and l hopefully you guys will have really good friends that will help you through because I had really like amazing friends that helped me through it and they will help you amazingly because they will just distract you from it and they will be there for you if you need them. Yeah, it's important to get that support network and then also you know, school, whilst it could be hard to go in every day and face the questions that everyone's bombarding you with, it is a distraction, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very good distraction. Even though your work, your work is going to get worse. Like, 
it might it might do it might not your distraction might be working knuckling down but personally for me i found it quite difficult to do my work i would do it but not as a good standard and you just gotta try and work as hard as you can to not let your grades slip three fingers all right so my next piece of advice would be to ask your mum and dad your sibling and the nurses doctors consultants as many questions as you want or as you have in your head because if you just go and google them you're just gonna really really upset yourself because google is full of every single negative thing and then all the positives are just like thrown out the window they're not there i think it's also good for you to release your questions so then you don't bottle it up as well yeah because it? if you like have a question like i don't know um what is the growth of the cancer like what's the speed of the growth if you're just going to sit there thinking of it you're going to think or you're going to make up an answer that's going to be bad that's true because what our sibling um james he actually um you know got you know he felt really bad because he almost didn't feel that he had enough clarity about my cancer and you know we saw his mood change and things so um but he felt a lot better when he could be honest with us and ask questions so i think that's important and then also you did have a very good relationship with my consultant my consultant made it that um if liv had any questions and she could always ask and she always included olivia whenever yeah. or like any of my other siblings as well but liv was generally there for the different appointments so i think that helped you didn't it yeah it did all right so my next piece of advice is that all of the stuff that's happening at school is like people asking you questions asking you very personal questions about your sibling I would suggest if you don't want to answer it, just don't because they're going to understand. They won't think you're mean. They're just going to understand that it's a very hard time for you and that will give them the message to just stop asking basically. And if you don't want to be rude about it, you could just be like, oh, I don't know, ask my sibling or something like that. Okay, so my next piece of advice is to not be afraid to ask for support because support is really helpful like counselling is extremely helpful because you get a non-biased opinion from a professional and they're not going to judge you on anything that you say and it's all behind closed doors so nothing will be repeated if you have certain things on your mind and just don't bottle things up whatever you do and make sure you do talk about them and that you are open about them. I think that's really important actually because I think Sometimes my siblings probably felt that their worries were insignificant to the worries surrounding like myself, so they probably didn't ask for support when they needed it. But thankfully, you you know you kind of knew that you needed it, and um, they helped you out a lot. Yeah, they did help me out a lot with um, understanding stuff as well, because they would explain stuff, and they'd be like, "Oh, why don't you ask this nurse about this, or why don't you just say to Ellie?" or ask Ellie this and they're just very helpful. It's like having a friend to lean on, that's a professional. <laughs> Do you think if they're a bit, yeah, they don't really know how to ask for um, the support, would they, should they go to the, um, you know, your sibling's consultant or do you want to go, should you go to your parents or what would you say? I think if you're nervous about letting your parents know, if your parents are quite like, I don't know, because some people, some parents are reluctant about counselling and mental health. If you're scared to ask your parents, then ask a consultant and the consultant can speak to your parents. But if you're not afraid to ask your parents, then just ask your parents. We're going to wrap up this video now. Um, I really hope um, these tips helped you. Is there anything that you'd like to say? I would just like to say that to any sibling going through this, it's going to be very difficult and it's not going to be the nicest time of your life, but just remember that your family has you, your friends have you, and most importantly, your sibling is there for you, even though they are going through this thing. And you've got this video to look at, to just know that someone's there and someone else understands, because there is somebody else in the world going through the exact same thing as you. And hopefully this video helps you a lot, because that's... The main reason I wanted to help with this video is to help other siblings because I didn't have anything like this when Ellie was diagnosed and I just hope that it really helps. So to 
help aid you even more of like um, getting through it, we're actually going to be putting a category about siblings in the forum. So you'll definitely be active on that, won't yeah, you? Yeah, I so, will. So if um, anyone has any questions, they can ask me. Yeah, so basically just go to the forum on my website and um, go to the category that says siblings and on there you can kind of openly talk about it. Um, my twin will be active on there, so if you have any questions and you can always ask her. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. For more information and advice, go to the Teens vs Cancer website. Remember that you are stronger than cancer.